Okay, here we are back in Black Rock, down by the railway station. And we have a plaque on the wall here. It's a um, local, uh, local diver uh, called Eddie Heron. Born 1910, died 1985. I'll be honest, I don't know too much about him, so I'm just reading here. His friends at Sandy Cove Swimming Club are honored to dedicate this plaque to Eddie Heron. 86 years undefeated springboard and highboard champion of Ireland. His skills, grace, and courage will never be equaled. equaled. His public and private character made him the object of the highest respect and earned for him the warm and abiding affection of all you knew. So, very poignant words there. Um, and this little, little piece in, in Irish, my Irish, is uh, not good. Comes to talk to, to Mega Man, all that. Okay, let's go up these steps across the railway. We've got some local art here, and unfortunately, local graffiti. As you unfortunately have everywhere now. Everywhere it seems to be desecrated. So uh, we're looking towards uh, the Thumb Curry Towers there. Let's just drop down the steps here. show you some very unique things down here. So, got a, these flagstones here, they back to the origins of the railway in 1834. And uh, there's holes here where there would have been, um, I believe, sleepers and, uh, and tracks. You can see, just there. But these are the original flagstones that were put down in the 1830s. Uh, there as well. We're coming up to the anniversary. Uh, December 17, 1834, the line was open, so in less than a week, we're coming up to the. Uh, let me see, my maths isn't great. Uh, so, 187 years? Yeah, 187 years. This, this big retaining wall here. Beside Longford Terrace. Sorry, Longford Terrace. I didn't. Sorry, I've forgotten the name of the terrace. Longford Terrace is down amongst them. Um, apologies for that. I'll have to correct myself in another video. I drone Terrace? Okay. Someone will make a comment, I'm sure. Okay, so it's kind of grassy vegetation down this end. And heading down towards the Clonkerry Towers. used to be fenced off, but you can actually get right down now. Well, they could do with a lawnmower down here. <laughs> the grass has taken over. It's very uneven in places, un uneven underfoot. There's a fish. Wow. Strange. How did it get there? So, as I said in my previous video, uh, they had to accommodate the needs of uh, Cloncurry and Harcourt Lees to uh, traverse their estate nearly 200 years ago. So that's why you had this uh, elaborate footbridge down here and his own personal harbour for Cloncurry. And then uh, Harcourt Lees had a had a summer house that's just uh, visible in the background there. Oh, we're back to these bricks again. And a substantial sum of money, I believe, 20,000 old pounds, which is a lot of money back then. Uh, we got the more distinctive flagstone, so they're quite historic. See the way there in places. Just have a look back here. There we go. Big retaining wall there. Uh, I was going to do this video for ages, but obviously I got ill and I was un unable to do it. But 
Everything's in working order now. Fortunately, where I live, I have a noisy neighbour, so I'm a bit tired at the moment, but eager to uh, show this off as I head down towards the towers. Now, there's a lot of girder bridge down here on the right, on the where the Moretto <coughs> Martimo house was, side. That's where the house was, their apartment's there now. And, um, Coming down to the original fence area now. This is as far as we can go. Once upon a time we'll get over this fence, but I don't have the energy <laughs> anymore. But as close as we can get to the towers. And it says there's a new sign down here, because I haven't been down here in a number of years. So it says uh, private property. Do not enter. So um they're fantastic, aren't they? I mean, you look at the towers, each tower, and um, sadly there's a mixture of neglect where they're blocked up. And uh, they should be accessible to the public. They should do something with it. It's got potential. They're unique. There's nowhere else in Ireland has a has a feature like this. And uh, they replaced the bridge over the tracks years ago, so it's more of an eight bridge than it was before, but it's a dark pass of life. And then you can see the Lattice Gorilla Bridge on the right there, and uh, there's apartments there as well, so. But um, I'm going to have to end this video now, this, this is going up to seven, minute, seven minutes, but um, all sorts of transport would have passed under that bridge, originally steam, then the uh, James Dundrum electric trains were very advanced for its time back in the 1930s, then the locos in the 50s, all sorts of locos, the A class, the V class, the C class, and um, trains would have gone down to, uh, would have gone down to Waterford, would have gone down to Wexford, still do. Uh, and um, the frequency of trains that go down to Bray and onwards to Great Sons. So uh, just have a look back here on the way into Dublin. Fantastic vista across Dublin Bay from Hoad, from Leary, right across. It's quite spectacular. On a lovely, crisp but cold morning. Please subscribe to my channel and feel free to make any donations. Um, I uh, do appreciate that, but um, at least subscribe to my channel. We will get the figures up to 300. So uh, tune in soon. Thank you.